just hideous. It's a hideous beast. Fabulous Paris wedding in less than 24 hours. You know what? Usually life's like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about conspiracies. He's building a new shop. Uh, look at that proper French onion soup. Oh, that is this. What on earth is that? Oh, no. Cheers. Here's to pulling it off with the chalazy on. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. I'm Fern, proud mum of two and wife to husband Ryan. We took a huge risk leaving our hometown in the north of England to the stunning French Riviera. It has been one crazy journey with some super challenging times, but the highs definitely make it all worthwhile and we've discovered parts of ourselves we never knew existed. Subscribe and join me for a peek into my daily life living on the French Riviera. Brand new video everybody. Hello and welcome back. Do you know, I thought I'd better just check in with you all and give you a little update. So I apologize if the camera quality isn't so great, but I am on my phone right now. And there's a reason why I've kept my sunglasses on to start the vlog. I've got to warn you first, I've got a huge pimple on my eyelid. I don't know if it's a sty or this other thing, which is similar to a sty, which begins with like a, I want to say like ch ch chalazion or something like that. Anyway, I am on day, I think I'm on day nine of this beast. I will show you in a moment, unless you want to just flick forward because it's rather revolting, just hideous. It's a hideous beast. It's been so painful and just makes me feel dirty and disgusting you know i've been to the doctors the eye doctor um i came out with like a huge prescription of oh my gosh i mean i came out with some sterile co sterile cotton like pads to bathe it with warm water regularly because apparently the warm water and light massage helps the drainage and then there was like this disinfectant cleanly kind of gel stuff to put on and then i have got a steroid antibiotic cream that i am also putting on and then i have got an i think it's an antibiotic eye drop as well and then i have got more eye drops which is more of like a lubricant for when my eye gets dry from all this shiz that's going on. So shall we do a reveal? Shall I show you the absolute monster? Can I just say I've never ever had one of these in my life before. Inside it's quite bad. Maybe it doesn't look too bad right now, but honestly, it's revolting. It's consumed me, absolutely consumed me. And do you know what? The awkward thing is, I think the only way to get rid of these things is time, which I don't have, because guess what? I'm at an absolutely fabulous Paris wedding in less than 24 hours. Can you believe it? Never ever had one of these things in my life. Before I'm about to go to one of the most incredible weddings, it rears its head. So, it's put me off getting in the mood to get anything new for the wedding, like outfit wise. I have got my outfit sorted for the actual wedding day, but tomorrow is like pre-wedding day and it's like a river cruise in Paris, weather's gonna be gorgeous, yeah. And I was hoping, I was really looking forward to shopping for something for that day. And because of this, I haven't been in the mood. So now it's less than 24 hours away and guess what? I've come shopping to try and get something. Yeah. That humongous queue right there. Is ours. 
is our cue to our flight, which means there's definitely time coffee. for a coffee. Okay, we've arrived in Paris and we got in the taxi straight from the airport, straight on the phone to the um, eye clinic. There's so many options here for like ophthalmology and things like that and uh, the one that we're using has an emergency service an extra trip are we Just crazy an extra little bit. <laughs> hopefully i'm gonna get a um appointment scheduled for incision whilst I'm in Paris, but first of all, I just need to see it, so. What, what time are we on? 11.13, got 11 to be on the boat in one hour and 45 minutes. Yeah, got to obviously get changed, and obviously not put eye makeup on, but put some makeup on. Do a Western Bennett style, Oh gosh. How much can you cram in? It's just like a challenge. <laughs> This is our getting ready area <laughs> because our room's not ready. Until three. So this is the only area that can allocate us. Amazing. To get ready. <laughs> oh gosh. Gotta do my makeup down here in this lighting. It's like a nightclub. I said we need iron. So they've brought us an iron and an ironing board down. I feel like this is not the first time this has happened. No. And they've done this for other people lots of times. Because it just came so naturally to them, didn't it? Yeah. It's like this, this is... This is an area. I can bring you iron. Um, we're going on one eye only. I don't know why. Because nobody's going to be seeing my eyes today. But just in case I have to reveal what's behind at least i know that i'm not completely ugly you know i can look all right sometimes you're not even a tiny bit ugly honey basically the woman that we went to see at the um clinic so the guy behind the counter who we spoke to was really really helpful and he was like i'm booking this as emergency situation and we genuinely thought we were going to get sorted and then we went in to see the woman and unfortunately she was very very unsympathetic and wanted to prescribe me exactly what i've already got basically and she wanted to prescribe it for another two to three weeks before she would even consider doing an incision so um yeah i got a little bit upset because the realization of going to america with this thing is becoming real we're at the river, we're about to get on the boat for the pre-wedding dinner party um, and yeah, got ready in the gym without a full length mirror, it's quite difficult but hey I'm just hoping we've pulled it off, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we've got, uh, I went for wedges because I thought it was safe with going on a boat wedge wide leg trousers from Zara which I picked up super last minute yesterday and actually this top which I've had for years and years which I also think was from Zara but I have put the label out so I'm guessing it was from Zara and that's my outfit the little pink Nelly Woo! accessories ready I'm gonna try and have lots of fun because you know what usually life's like this so because I've been a bit down this morning and this past week now ready for the high. Correct. Yeah? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you're out of it today. Uh, Ryan's kind of matching me. Repping Fragonard. Yes, Fragonard shirt. Nice space chinos. Come on then.
can finally enter our room. Let's see. Oh, oh, pardon. Come on. Oh, la la. What we got? Oh, it's nice and cool in here. Oh, lovely. That bed looks very comfortable. After wearing these heels on the boat. Uh, oh, wardrobes. Where's the toilet then? Blue toilet. Oh, it's here, look. Little roomy tour. Nice little um, bathroom there. Toilet in there. Oh my gosh, guys. We have a bath. Stop. It's very rare you get a bath in hotels these days. They've all had refurbs and showers and there's actually a bath ah! you know how much i miss a bath because in our rental property i don't have a bath i only have a shower and um we've been there since september so i miss a bath very very much you know just for like when you really want a long soak i have to go and get like pedicures now soak and scrub on the feet because i just don't get a chance for that long like soak to the point where you go wrinkly i miss that anyway wedding well sorry it wasn't the wedding it was the pre-wedding um boat party um lunch on the boat drinks beautiful weather dj gorgeous absolutely gorgeous um we're not back at like a ridiculous hour it's like 6 p.m now I'm going to get changed into something comfortable because we've just walked all the way back. It's only been like a 20 minute walk, but still, after a few drinks and the heat, I'm feeling it. Um, so get changed and then I think we are going to go get a drink, maybe get a bit of dinner, maybe pop and see our gorgeous friend, mother of the bride, Georgia. She's a hotel apartment not too far away from here um so we'll see we'll take you along but what a fab day we've had despite the um depressing morning <laughs> oh get them off show them what's happened no <laughs> my wedge has broke on the walk back to the hotel um oh, it's bad but i think it's because you know when you keep shoes and clothes and things in storage in hot weather conditions things just weaken the glue um, breaks down glue breaks down yeah things even the plastic storage tubs that we use you know they become quite brittle and um yeah a lot of things don't survive so my wedges went oh, my feet are swollen <laughs> that's alcohol Oh. And heat. And heat. Yeah, I need a big drink of water. Flush it away. I'm not gonna lie, I did have a bit of a breakdown this morning after the early flight and the um, false hopes into thinking that I was gonna get fixed up because the guy on the phone sounded really positive. So I got really excited thinking that I was gonna be able to get this sorted on this trip so I don't have to think about it anymore. And then it was just a big letdown and the um, the lady that we saw, she wasn't very sympathetic, she wasn't very nice, so I had a bit of a wobble, especially when we got to the hotel and checked in and room wasn't ready, so they put us downstairs in that little gym to get ready. I was just like, this is not what I was imagining this trip to be like. Um, but you know what? I just got on with it, got ready, shades have been on all day and to be honest i've kind of forgot about this situation a little bit and just over it. i don't know if i'm over it but i've managed to enjoy the day it's been a really lovely day you know what are we saying? strong fresh vodka martini pour moi a beer for husband and he's also ordered a burger because he does love a burger as a treat this is the burger connoisseur by the way mm. oh it looks quite nice it's got that nice cheesy sauce i ain't eating a lot of burgers in my time let's have a look give us the um what's the 
Really juicy. Juicy. Oh yeah. Nice. Show me the middle. Oh yeah, it looks like a juicy one that. Pink. I had a little spillage. <laughs> Look at that down that way. That way. What? That way. Stay out the tree on. Woo! What is this? Who knows what I'm recording right now? It could be a strip club or anything. But I really love the window display. Look at this. Yeah, it is a strip club. Oh, it is a strip club. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks very pretty, I must say. Oh, wow. Very pretty strip club. Very. Wow. Oh. No, that's another site that we must not go to near. Can you remember battered bananas? I remember battered <laughs> bananas. Where were we? Were we in uh, Amsterdam, Amsterdam when we did that? Amsterdam. <gasps> it was basically a Chinese just like this where it's all probably full of seed oils and super bad for you but just looks incredible um, and they had battered banana Ooh. on display and me and Ryan fell for it and we had a battered banana when we were in Amsterdam probably the best thing I ate in Amsterdam look at this that all looks delicious actually delicious but inflammatory wow look at these doors let's hunt down the mother of the bride is she in here do you know what that means? Uh, speak my mum. Talk to my hand. Talk to the hand. Maman. Pe parle maman. Maman is mum, no? No, I thought that. Ma means my and ma means hand. No, I think for you it's... Is it still ma? Because that's yeah. the feminine one. Parle maman. Ma Have you not heard the song? What feminine. Nancy sings? Ma is feminine, no? Are you... Oh, do I say parle maman? Yeah, Mom. You're very chatty. You must have just had a martini. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, shit. I nearly fell then. I know, I tripped what? back here. Hey. Oh. Who is behind these grand doors? Me. Yeah. Oh, you're okay. you're yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just eating snacks. Snacks? Snacks. 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 <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. Look at this place. What is this is what's behind those huge grand doors. Yes, this is, this is house style. Yeah. So back in the day, like in the 1800s, in the day, Napoleon yeah. hired a gentleman by the name of Houseman, who, I don't know, maybe he was like a city planner or architect or something. And he had him come in and take all the old medieval villages in Paris and destroy them and build these beautiful buildings because the medieval villages were sort of entrapped, and so when there was war, everybody would just get killed in there. So Napoleon said, I want you to tear this down, I want you to make tree lined streets going straight through Paris and build these beautiful old buildings. And so that's how you get this classic French style apartment you know, building. Yeah. Wow. I'm sure there's more to the story, but yeah, but that's good. It's Hausman. Yeah. Is he German? Probably. Yeah, it sounds a German name, not yeah. right? Hausman. Anyway, Ali, on your back. Oh, this way. This way, darling. Oh, where? Look at the staircase. Oh! Oh, bougie. Bougie, go, go.
mbak si mbak si kali oh little cafe dah Let's eat, baby. Can't go wrong with a bit of Turkish. <laughs> oh, look at that. Mm. Right choice. Good morning from Sorry. me and the Chalazian. It's actually becoming a friend now. Kind of getting used to it. It's like my little tag along started off as a uh, invader imposter enemy and now we're becoming friends so hi and welcome to day number two in paddy and i've had a lazy morning ryan hasn't he's been on a mega run 10 miles 10 miles 10 miles in paris really i'm so jealous an hour because... and 15 minutes really mm -hmm. we had um a nice but a bit of a heavy meal last night actually we went to a turkish restaurant love that kind of food like mm. turkish lebanese greek, greek. Meze, yeah fresh meat hummus veg you know all that kind of stuff it was gorgeous um so i had like a lamb dish we shared both actually but i had like a lamb dish in this gorgeous sauce i actually indulged in like bread as well and just thoroughly ugh. And yeah, it was lovely. Um, so Rai's been out. I've had a slow, lazy morning. I've like laid in bed, scrolled on Instagram, uploaded some pictures, done a couple of tweaks and um, bits and sorted tonight's video, which is going live. And yeah, here we are, middle of the day, ready to go and explore. And Ryan's hungry after that run. I need a coffee. And the wedding, the wedding, gorgeous couple, Tess and Sean, is tonight at 6 pm. So we'll be coming back around four ish because they're getting married at Four Seasons, which is only like, is it like a five minute walk from here? Yeah, it's not far at all. So probably get here at four, have a lovely bath, nice soak, do my hair, get ready, have a little drink of champagne before we head out. Oh yeah, because we got upgraded. Yeah, we, we did. Do you know what? This is so funny. This is what I'm guessing, right? After the escapade yesterday morning of the enemy and being let down, I did lose it a little bit. So I did have a few tears. And when I arrived here, I think you could tell that I'd been crying. I wasn't in the best of moods either. I was just a bit like fed up. And then they told us that the room wasn't ready. So they sent us downstairs. And I think they sensed the vibe. Anyway, when we arrived back here after the wedding, they was like, oh, we've upgraded your room. And um, just let us know when you want your champagne. You can have some champagne. We'll bring some glasses up. And we were like, oh. Thank you that's really nice and we've got like a lovely balcony which a lot of the rooms haven't got and none, I think, none of the rooms no i think it's because <laughs> they felt sorry for me yeah. do you think they obviously didn't know what had been going on um but yeah i think the tears listen if you want a room upgrade just start crying when you arrive and yeah. you never know Hey, what? Come do a little outfit of the day. Outfit of the day, nothing special actually. A very old blazer that I've had for years from H&M. On top of a little basic tee from Mango. Skirt that I've worn before from Oisho. Comfy, casual, stretchy. And trainers. Oh, yeah. Ons. Off with my favourite accessory, the Nelly. Some ons, eh? Yeah, oh, I have got my earrings in though because I never actually wear these as much as I thought I would. But it was a bit of an investment, so you know, I um, thought I would pop them up today. And then shades are actually um, nothing special. They're just from Mango. I think they were like 25 euros, something like that. 
And then my last accessory um, is the chalet arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you can't buy that shit. No. No. You cannot. You like, rock honestly, it. Honestly, you try and get one, you will really, really struggle. <laughs> it took me an actual lifetime yeah. to get one. 35 years. 35 one years, yeah. She's yeah. been waiting for the chalazy arm. Uh -huh. Yeah. Has Ryan shown you this masterpiece? Look at that beast. It is rather impressive. And he also tells me that the Louis Vuitton guy is one of the richest guys in the world. Correct. And he also tells me that this is, it's basically got more to it than you think. They're hiding something behind there. So I thought, hmm, richest guy in the world, hiding something on a huge building like that. I'm getting Breaking Bad vibes. <laughs> It's not. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's cooking. He's cooking. For sure, look at that. He's Everybody's actually just not. Like, wow, wow. Taking pictures. Really? You want to think about what's behind there, what's being covered up. He's a. Uh, I'm all about conspiracies. He's building a new shop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But in the meantime, he's thinking, wow, I've got this massive space. What could I use this for? You never know. You never know. These super rich guys do what they want. Yeah, I mean, look, who thought about the chicken guy? The chicken guy, you know, he just made chicken. So it's not chicken. a true story. You don't know that. <laughs> These things happen. Oh, I need some food. I'm starving. Let's go, boy. Yes. Come on. Everyone's staring. Is that what you wanted? Woo! <laughs> All the guys are totally jealous right now. I'm having a little bit of milk in my double espresso today. That's perfect to double espresso. Yeah. Um, cappuccinos are like a little bit too milky because we do like a strong coffee. So I thought I would go double espresso, but I do fancy the touch of milk in there today and Ryan's what have you ordered for food? Uh, veal. Veal mm -hmm. and I've ordered French onion soup so I just want something light but tasty. We do love a brasserie in Harry. Oh yeah. Oh look at this I wasn't expecting it to come out this good. French onion soup. Oh, it's got the top on it. Oh, that looks gorgeous. And Ryan's totally jealous because he said how starving he was. And that looks a little bit petite for you, sir. I'll eat all this and I'll be dipping some in there. Okay, so. yeah, she can dip the bread in my soup. I don't mind. He's got a veal with a nice sauce. I'm sure it'll be very, very tasty. It looks lovely. I just know how hungry you are. In my soup first. Mm. Is that nice? Oh, that's good. Oh, I will share. Don't worry. Mm. It does look so good though. Look at that. Proper French onion soup. Oh, that is so What good. a choice. I'm so happy I went for that. Where are we? What's this um, little brasserie called? I'm not sure. I'll find out. I'll pop the name on screen. We're not far from the Arc de Triomphe, which is just around that corner there. Who's that? It's the patisserie man. <laughs> Guess what? What? Feel that packet. What? Hot. It's just come out of the oven them croissants. Fresh. Oh stop, you're making me want them now. Look, well I've just had a little corner. Oh did you? Oh, oh stop it, are they filled? Are they Armand? No. No? They're just so good. So good, oh, I can smell it. Stop, wafting it. I went, um, in there and there weren't any on display. No. So that's it. And then I, got, I went out the shop and said, and looked for another boulangerie. Couldn't find one close by and I thought, oh, I'll just go back in the shop and see if there's anyone else. And I just asked him behind the thing, have you got any croissants? And he went, oh, the minute. Went into the back. Never. And brought out a tray, fresh baked. Only in France, then. Oh. Only in Paddy. Well, no, you actually get it in Greg's and all, don't you? <laughs> Not this. What on earth is that? That is fig, honey, and 
white chocolate bread. Stop. Mm -hmm. Stop. And then I bought this. Which <gasps> is a chocolate bread. Oh my gosh. Good croissants. Mm. I am just getting my outfit out ready for tonight. The dress is pretty simple. You know, it's not like special, expensive or anything. It was from Mango. Um, it's just got a little slit up the side, fits really nice, it's super comfortable. Wasn't even expensive, it was like 22 99 euros. I know, crazy. Um, but then the jacket is like more of like a bit of a statement piece. So I've had this years and actually never got around to wearing it because it's quite formal, but I loved it. So I've never got rid of it from um, Hobbs. And yeah, it just pairs really nice with a simple black dress underneath. And then statement pair of earrings. Love these. They're like my latest favorite because like I say, they're quite big and statement, but I can't really usually wear big earrings because my earlobes can't take it. And these are so light and they're a little bit of like a vintage um, look. I'll try and link them down below. And then just classic black pointy sling back. These were from uh, Jonak, uh, Jonak, I think, really comfy. And then, because I didn't want it to look like too structured and formal, I wanted like a little pop of funness. We're gonna put the cute pink um, Nelly with it, just to like give it a bit of, you know, pop of color and a bit of youth. These are fab little handbag hooks. So you can actually pop it on the table so you don't have to put your bag on the floor. They actually work, they're amazing. I've got a few of them. And then, of course, a pop on the lip to match the bag, you know? So yeah, that's tonight's look. I'll show you when I'm ready. Woo! Ooh la la. Champagne in Paris. Merci. Spray, 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 This is my uh, cheap dress, guys. It's just slinky fitted. It's got the little side split of the leg. I'm comfortable to party in. <laughs> this is what 20, what was it? 22.99 gets you. Oi, oi. But it's a bit small. I did buy it a lot of years ago when I was a bit smaller, but it just fits. It, it does go up if I wanted to do it up. It's got like these little hook and eyes. I don't know if I need it up. Or open. What do you think? Open, definitely. You don't need it up. It's um, it's got a little bit of stretch in it. It's got these hook and eyes here, look. And then obviously, even though we're indoors, I don't want to put people off the dinner, you know. So look, shades. Lovely. What do you think? Beautiful. You look great. Should we just neck this champagne and then oh, get off? Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Here's to pulling it off with the chalazy on. <laughs> Check it out. I love this little colour clash. On some. I love the colour clash you've got going on there. Usually we're always matching. Tonight we're not matching. We're not like monochrome. Although I have got uh, the, the splash of pink and yours is kind of pinky. Looking absolutely handsome as. Merci, madame. Oh, gorge. Just Babe. chucked it together. Love it. Yeah. That's what we do. Not a single item is new. Love it. <laughs>
The gentle April rain that stained the window panes last night is all but gone, but lingers on in scented clouds of air. We watch the town awaken to the trembling morning light. You're so near and spring is everywhere. We danced until the stars came out and spread across the sky. The wee small hours of morning all went by and day is here. We won't give up our dancing and across the floor we fly. When you are near, spring is in the air. I hold you so close, I think you must hear my heart tingle 